Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome our next competitor into the cage, Alex Ouivier. <laughs> Well, the big boys come out to play here this evening at light heavyweight and it is K1 rule set on tap. Andrew Nichols in charge and out of the run corner from LDG. Alex OVA and Josh Ede from Conflict Fitness in the blue. Josh and Alex touch gloves after two very flashy walkouts. I think it's going to be fantastic action here with lots of power, Dean. Already not disappointing. Alex shakes it off using those fancy kicks from the distance. But when it comes to the flurry, he's very calm and collected. He's got a granite chin, Chris. OVA, very devastating with those lead leg techniques. 
Nice check there to a 1-2. Oh, big connection there from Alex. Oh. Spinning back kick to the midsection. And we've got a count. Massive turning back kick there from Alex. Ede straight down to the canvas from that body shot. And Ede able to recover there. Front leg side kick again from Alex. Ede though covers up. I have a feeling this one is not gonna last long, Dean. I love the striking style where you see the very best of dynamic kicks mixed with the leg kicks and direct attacks of Muay Thai from Ovier. And at times he seems to like to lead with the rear hand, the cross. Gauging that distance perfectly with those kicks. He'll throw them out to look where to land the next strike, but there's power in those kicks as he goes for the axe kick. But Ede comes in with the flurry, and Ede trying to punish the flashy techniques from Ovier. But the leg dexterity of Ovier is definitely something to write home about, and he chooses his shots very well. There's one thing to be a great kickboxer, and there's another thing to be an intelligent kickboxer. Shot selection is everything, and that is what you're seeing right now from OVA. End of the round. Round two, and after a bit of an early firefight, Josh Ede looks to have recovered here. But will no doubt be very, very wary of the tricks already shown by the very unorthodox OVA. Ede now coming forward with that flurry. I like what he did there, nice teep, and he didn't run in because that's when you're gonna run into those turning back kicks and that's what's gonna send you crashing. Big kick from Alex. And the points fighting style of OVA is so difficult to train for, you know? Not many people have sparring partners in the gym that can mimic that style. Superman punch and a miss from Ede. OVA shrugs it off and lands a body shot of his own. But OVA OVA's breathing a little bit, Dean. So confident, I think he's trying to lure in, looking for those fancy kicks on the outside, giving himself a bit of space. Now Ede needs to sense that and close this space down. Cut OVA off and land those big punches over the top that we know he's capable of. Ede covers up, OVA works the body and then a straight left connects right through the middle of the guard. Big knee, but that's an illegal strike. OVA rocks Ede's world with an illegal blow as Andrew Nichols calls a halt to the action here. Looks Obviously like he this is amateur rules, Dean, so those strikes are not allowed. I think this could be the end here. Yeah, it looks like that's a suspected broken nose there, Chris. Bleeding quite profusely is Ede. And it seemed to me that as Ovier came in there to throttle that shot in, he was aiming for the midsection, but then ended up coming up. And obviously that was very, very quickly an offsides play. We're gonna get an assessment here for the medical team. And then depending on their advice, Nichols will have to make a call. And we'll await the decision here. It's gonna make it difficult, Chris. Often when you break your nose, if you've ever had that, it makes it very difficult to breathe and even to see. Often your eyes make you, uh, you wince and you water. So if he does get back into this fight, he could be at a disadvantage. No doubt the breathing interruption. Yeah, Nichols is forced to wave this one off. That's it. Now it'll be very interesting to see whether that's a no contest or whether possibly even a win via disqualification. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from the body language of both fighters, this has been an incredibly sporting contest. So let's hear it for both your kickboxers in the cage at the moment. But we do have a winner by way of DQ for a legal knee to the head. It's in the blue corner, Josh E.